That first reading from the Book of Kings is a very interesting story because it tells about Naaman the Syrian, this general who comes wanting to be cured of leprosy. You know, and the prophet just says, well, go wash seven times in the Jordan. And he gets upset. He gets angry. You know, somehow, as it's pointed out to him, if he was asked to do something extraordinary, well, he would have quickly done it. But to do something so simple, huh, well, no, no, that was too much. You know, it leads me to look at myself and say, you know, how many times has the Lord asked us only to do simple things and, and yet I just think that's not good enough? That's not good enough. And yet that is really what the Lord asks. I, I, I go back again and again to the words of Micah the prophet who said, this is what God asks of you, that you act justly, that you love tenderly, and that you walk humbly with your God. Geez, that's, that's not hard. Most of the time, it's not hard. And yet, you know, again, it's almost like I have to do something extraordinary to prove to God that I deserve this. When, in fact, I can't prove to God I deserve it. There's nothing I can do to earn what God offers to me. There's nothing I can do to prove that God should love me. The only thing God asks is that I accept that love and strive to live in that love. Ah, but I want to make it hard because somehow I think I need to earn it. We don't like free gifts that often. You know, somehow there is that sense in us we, we have to earn it. I, re I remember years ago we had a clothing drive at the parish and after we gathered a lot of clothes. We advertised in the area to those who were more needy that we had all of these clothes and they were free for the taking. And what was interesting is we didn't get many customers. Not many at all. And so we ended up taking all of the clothes to St. Vincent de Paul, which was fine, but that didn't help the people in our area. You know, the clothes were taken to St. Vincent de Paul a couple of towns over where, you know, the needy would, over there might use it, but not the needy in our area, which was our target. Talking about it with someone, they said, well, you know, the problem is, is that you didn't ask for anything. People tend not to want to take free things. And so the next time we did it, we charged a quarter a bag. And it was amazing how much we got rid of. Just somehow people feeling the need. And I, I understand that. But you and I can't do that with God. We can't earn anything from God. You know, the word grace itself comes from the Latin word gratis, which means free. It is God's free gift to us. God willingly shares the gift of divine life with us. Not because we've earned it, not because we deserve it, but because that's God's choice. You know, the truth is, is that we were made so that God could have someone to love. On the other hand, we hear the story of the people of Nazareth who, they grew up with this Jesus, they knew him, you know, and they couldn't believe that these things that they're hearing about him, that that could actually happen. I mean, he was just the carpenter's, carpenter's son. You know, excuse me, we know his family. Oh, a little shaky in some of them, you know, probably. And so how could he do this? And again, the people weren't open to what God was doing. They couldn't see that somehow this person was something much more. And I think of how often along the way human beings pigeonhole others. You know, this person grows and they don't fit into what I expect. You know, they've become more than they were before. And yet somehow I still see them only as that smaller person. You know, again, it's a matter of how we view things. 
today, perhaps of all the lessons the scriptures ask of us to learn, is to be open, to be open to what God asks of us and to do it willingly, no matter how simple it might be, and to be open to others, to look at them not as they were, but as they are. And so in that acceptance of them, they can find the love that they need to grow to become more. It is an interesting challenge to change our perspective, to change the way we see things. But sometimes when we do that, it's we who become so much more.